Hi guys, Matty H taking you through round two opening game on the Friday night, Adelaide United versus Newcastle Jets. 1-1 one, one draw, let's have a look at the highlights. Crowd building, certainly all eyes on Adelaide with the FFA Cup final coming up midweek. There are three very important points to be won here tonight. Certainly both these sides are keen to find their first win of the season. They don't want to leave empty-handed after two weekends. Vargas. And the free kick bending needed a touch on its way out. Oh, he's I misread it. He gets away with it. But it had more height than he thought because he really should be catching that. Petrados gets a corner then. This one with some height. Hoffman wins the header. And Jair was there, but Izzo beat him to the ball. And now Petrados, a back heel under pressure. Oh, clever. Escaping to the right side. Collision off the ball, floors Vargas. Jair is waiting. And Elsie puts it behind for a corner. Oh, it's a terrific call. What can he do? Scooping it into the path of Goodwin. And it sits up. Ilso was there. Newcastle dawdling and very nearly gifted Adelaide a chance. Well, that's what it was. It nearly gifted it to him. Goodwin. A deflection. And off the crossbar. Well, he's definitely going for it, no doubt about it. It's a lot of power, and you know, it's fairly straight, so the power's, and maybe the surprise. Goodwin, on the impossible angle. Nearly, but not quite. Just the long throw catches Newcastle. Good little run in behind here. It's, I think it's in behind Ugarkovic, and he goes for power. That's a pretty good save. And Hoffman steals away. Numbers at the far post for the Jets, and arrives in the middle! And the goal arrives too! Well, finally, a bit of quality in the in the final third. Terrific ball in, in Vargas attacks the space and gets himself a tap in. So we see a tumble there from Jair, and Morone takes the chance to cross! Oh, great header! Great equaliser! Good one! It's 1-1! One, one. A beautiful sweeping ball, and Goodwin had the magic touch at the end! Well, what a ball. We talked about Hoffman's cross for Vargas' goal, but what about this for a ball? It's a great header as well, still had a lot to do. But look at this, they worked it from the left to the right hand side, gets it out his feet, you don't have to beat your defender. That is a terrific ball, and Goodwin attacks it, and with a thumping header, just gets over Bogard. Beautiful header, head to back from where it came from. It's a neat cross from Jair, and a point blank save! Hoffman denied, and Paul Izzo comes up with a big one. Well, Galloway gets dragged towards the ball, and Hoffman should have scored. Did well to leap through Georgievski's challenge, and now he goes for glory! Nearly for George Blackwood. I well, certainly had Glenn Moss worried. Dives across to his left-hand side, must have been very close. To... Morone, the early ball. Moss went without it. Gee, I tell you what, George Blackwood, I don't know if they'll have a look at that. Oh, he's ironed out Blackwood, and the referee is pointing in the other direction. Sprawled bodies, players coming in from all points of the compass, a hot crowd, and the game about to tick into stoppage time. And with that, it is hugs and smiles at full time in a game. So despite giving you the initial impression of a 4-2-3-1, we do see that Adelaide came out with more 4-4-2. Isaias and Leah did play the holding midfielder role. Goodwin and Strain did play a fair bit further up the field. Ilso himself, even though listed as a midfielder, did share all of the work early on with Halloran. When Ilso was replaced by Blackwood, that actually freed up Halloran to play a lot deeper and a lot wider throughout the game. Newcastle themselves did actually hold to their 4-2-3-1 initial lineup. Jair, the left winger, did play the bulk of his time on the left, while Vargas and Petratos did actually swap a bit throughout the game. And similar to last week, Ugarkovic and Redenton did play a very strong defensive presence to give that strength in the core of the midfield. From the stats, we do see the game was pretty even. When we get to the second half, Surely we will actually find that Adelaide did dominate a fair bit more. Overall, though, we do see here that Adelaide had slightly more offensive stats. Newcastle did have slightly more defensive stats. Something that's reflective of how the two teams lined up and looked to play out, particularly with Newcastle on the counter. 
as we see, he was very close, very cagey first half. Both teams were backing up from a start to the season last week that was far from ideal. Adelaide getting the 1-1 draw, Newcastle having a 2-1 loss. Both teams were trying to avoid having any silly mistakes in the first half, costing themselves a goal. What we do see here is that Adelaide have half as many shots overall as Newcastle. A reflection of the fact that Newcastle played with a very strong press within their own half, trying to actually counter Adelaide as much as they could. The fact that they had no shots on target has got to be away from Newcastle from the first half. From the second half stats, we do start to see that Adelaide did get a lot more of control in the game as the game wore on. It's going to be a concern for Newcastle on top of their inability in the first half to get shots on target, that they basically gave up so much control. Yes, Newcastle did score first, but there was a 10-minute gap between the two goals for this game, which means that overall, Newcastle didn't have much of an answer once they went in front. Once they got that first goal, it was almost as if they actually then switched off. For Adelaide, similar to what happened Newcastle had in the first half, despite having so many shots, they actually struggled to get much of an attempt on to Goal, forced to save, forced to block, which is going to be a concern for them because if you can't get a shot on target, you can't really score. On to the three things. The first thing is very similar to last week. What is going to be the impact of the returning Adelaide faults? There was about a 15-20 minute spell in the second half between Blackwood being subbed on and Diawara being subbed on when the Adelaide fall on looked extremely good. <clears throat> the role of Halloran being more of a second striker a wide forward for Adelaide was fantastic. He was able to almost play off the shoulder of Blackwood, actually fire up on some of the runs that and the balls through that Blackwood would help out with. When Diawara came on, it was almost like he and Blackwood were trying to do the same thing. Going to be a bit of a concern for them going forward. Blackwood is out next week, so maybe, hopefully, that means that Adelaide has a bit of time for Diawara to take up that lead striker or target forward role. Second thing... Can Newcastle translate their first halves into the second half performances? Tonight, or game, they didn't really do that. So they need to actually adjust and see what they can do because if they keep dropping off in the second half, they will find that they're going to get games where they're just played out of the fixture. And then the third and final thing for tonight's game is talking about which team will settle first. Between them, they've had two draws this season, not exactly the greatest start to a season for either side. The longer it takes for them to settle, the harder it's going to be for them to really mount a top two, a top three season campaign. Thanks for watching the review of the Adelaide United Newcastle Jets fixture from round two. There's the subscribe button there, so if you want to follow up on any future highlights and videos, please hit the subscribe for the notifications. Matty H saying until next time, enjoy.